Hey guys, and welcome back to Haunting Ground. When we last left off, we discovered uh, we need to find some kind of material, some primer materia, so we can create a godstone for reasons. Um, <laughs> so we found a lot of the things that we need to refine the stuff. We just haven't actually found the stuff in question itself. So let's keep exploring shall we and uh, we haven't bumped into Ricardo for a while ooh ooh this sounds gribbly oh hello filthy little bastard oh damn this thing's stronger than I thought Kill it, Huey. Okay, they don't actually take an awful lot of killing. That's good to know. Ah, uh, hi, friend. And what are you doing here, all by yourself? Just chilling, I guess, on your own personal little seat. Okay, I mean, everyone's got to have a hobby, I suppose. Right, hello. Oof, God. How many kicks does this thing take? Alright, well, we got rid of him in the end. And one second, guys, my phone's going. Okay, and we're back. Right, so, <laughs> a split second for you guys, nearly an hour for me. Oh, that's bad. Oh, God, those things are... Those things are... Right, so... When they grab you, they die straight after, it would seem. Well, that's good to know. And they don't actually do as much... To, ooh. They don't seem to do as much to you as I thought they would. So, we're back outside. What's this? <laughs> Another medallion. Oh, there's something over there as well. So we've got another medallion. Ah, dudes, look at this. This is the other side of the crypt, isn't it? It is as well. Oh, you know what? This is kind of um, very Souls-like, the way everything uh, kind of repeats and joins on itself. There's some really nice kind of Metroidvania esque game design. Anywho, uh, Go, Huey. how do we get that? Do we have to send Huey? Huey over? Yep. Yep, looks like it. We can't get between the graves, apparently. What you got for me? Oh, Primer Materia. Right. Really? It's just in a Graveyard somewhere? I thought we was gonna have to like find it from a distillery or I don't know out of some kind of um, beaker or I don't know. But then saying that, we did find the um, the flavor text that said the dog ran off with it. I suppose. Uh, so an indescribable material that looks like it could be both a solid and a liquid. All right. So let me get my notes up, the right page of my notes. So we need to take it to the extractor then, I guess. Um, right, let's go. Come on, Huey. We have what we came for, I guess. Now, I'm gonna, oh, hello, I didn't even see that. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, We've probably upset the locals. Those red pots very rarely have anything of value in them. Oh, there's another one there. I swear I can actually see. Oh, nice. What we got? Another medallion. Okay. Well, I don't know what this dude's doing. Can't, like, examine him either. Or kick him. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, so we need to find a way 
back to the main room. Oh, you fucker. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, you bastard. I knew as soon as we found this stuff, you were going to be right on my arsehole. Oh, you dickbag. You absolute penis buffer. You'd have to run into me. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's keep moving. Yeah, no, don't worry. I didn't want to... S oh, okay. Oh, God. The controls keep reversing. The controls keep reversing every time there's like a transitional switch. Ugh. Okay. Now what's curious is why doesn't he just shoot the dog? Now, I don't want him to shoot the dog, but wouldn't it make sense? Like, he's obviously, um, you know, Huey, or Huey, I should say, has been a humongous pain in his arsehole. You would have thought he'd just put a cap in his ass and be done with it. Okay. That actually works reasonably well. Oh, he's a... Oh, hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. He is a way more fun um, stalker style enemy. He's way more fun than the last two we had. Just because of how like fast he is. He's literally like up your ass. I don't know what he's firing at either. That's kind of concerning in a lot of ways. That's okay. That's okay. Right, where are we? We are kind of in the right place. Sort of, kind of, maybe. All right. That was pretty sketchy. Hang on. Hang on. No, we need to go back around the other way. I'm trying to remember where we're going. I swear I know what I'm doing. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. He's gone. He's gone the way we want to go. That's bad news bears. Right, and I guess he's around here somewhere. Because Huey is... Growling like hell. Alright, we're just going to be very quiet. He's literally going to be on the other side of that door, isn't he? No, we're good. So... We need the extractor. That is the extractor, isn't it? Yes. So, if my uh, calculations are correct, we can stick this in there. It sounds like a microwave. Uh, and what has that given us? That's given us sulfuric ore. Ugh. Sulfuric ore created via a process involving the refining of primer... Um, Materia. Okay. So next we need to go to the purification room, which was the room upstairs with the, the locked the locked dog room. Uh oh. This is bad. When Huey's growling, that's generally not the best of signs. So, where was this? I've got to try and remember now where we're going. Um, and it wasn't that way, was it? Pretty sure not. He doesn't seem to. Oh, 
Well, I don't want to speak too soon and jinx myself, but he doesn't seem to attack you quite as often as some of the other stalkers. Right, it was up this way, I think, wasn't it? Um, was it up here? Maybe. Is this... Yes, here we are. See, I remember. Okay, right. Uh, Huey, you're in the way, buddy. There's a good pooch. You're one of the good ones, Huey. Right, now, if we fuck this up... Uh... We can restart this. So this is the purifier. Yeah. So let's microwave this. Sulfuric ore. Stick it in the old microwave. And what's that going to give us? Oh my, it actually transforms into silver ore. So what does it actually say there? A purifier. I've never heard of a device like this before. There's a space to insert something in the machine. Right, so it doesn't actually say anything there. So, next on our agenda, in that case, is the synthesizer, which was by the puzzle door, according to my highly accurate notes. And the puzzle door was towards the center of this map. Again, highly accurate notes that I have written here. Where does this go? Do we even know where this goes? Have we... Uh, we must have explored this at some point. Where does this go? Oh, right. It just kind of leads to this strange place. And then up here... All right, Huey. Chill out, buddy. Right, actually, this kind of possibly, maybe, question mark, leads us... Yes, this... No, this is the right way to go. Sick. We need to go through here. And what I'm going to do... Before I do anything, is save the game. Because... I'd rather not screw this up. You understand. Okay. So, let's go throw this in here. Oh, look, Huey, he's just, he's just chilling out, having a little bit of a rest. You've earned it, buddy. Right, let's put the silver in here. Give it about 30 seconds in the microwave. Right, so that's now given us the white godstone. Okay. Smooth, milky white material created by refining silver ore. Now, we need to go and put that in the statue room, which was somewhere. I mean, you know, everything's somewhere. Come on, Huey. This way. Uh, let's get away from there. Now, if memory serves, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't serve me that well, it was up some... No, was it up some stairs or some, down some stairs? I will figure it out. Oh. Sounds like Ricardo's around here somewhere. I hope this is Richard. Uh, we've actually got some more blurb to read here. Huey has caught wind of something again. I'm going to say that it has his hair standing on end. Ah, there is something different about that room. Something doesn't feel right. A synthesizer. It's been placed in this dark and spooky hallway. And it looks like some weird device you'd see a mad scientist use. God, I miss home. Huey's caught wind of something again. I'm going to say that his hair is standing on end isn't a good sign. Maybe I should send him to scout ahead first. 
What? Not even that stopped her. Oh, we've read these ones. She's the maid from hell. Come on, she has to have some kind of weakness. But what could it be? A giant piece of glass through her chest, uh, apparently. I guess I'm safe. Why is it always like this? Why must I kill just to keep myself alive? I hate this place. I really do. Huey stole it. I wonder if he buried it in the garden or so. Oh, really? There's a fucking clue there for the thing. So I guess you can be pretty sneaky when you want to. Eh, Huey? A device used to analyze things. Well, I'm hardly a techie, so a lot of this stuff is just too complex for me. But it would seem that this device is somehow related to the fact that the room is corroding away. Okay. Now even that now even that Ricardo is telling me I should stay in the castle. But I'm not stupid. I know the longer I stay here, the greater my chances are of getting killed. Yeah, uh, you'd be lucky to get killed here, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah. A godstone. I've never heard that word before in my life, but maybe the stone will open the door. What? Oh, right, so that's the door downstairs. A transmuter. Hmm, that is great and everything. But what is that guy doing over there behind me? He's head-butting the wall, and I thought I had problems. An extractor. I know this will make me sound stupid, but maybe it's to extract things. <laughs> I'll push the idea that they're using it to extract something from that woman in the capsule out of my head for now. Oh. A purifier. Well, the fact that the room was bolted shut has to mean that someone was serious about keeping people out of this room. Maybe there is something here, something important. Hmm. And we're back. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Right, uh, we were exploring down here, weren't we? Well, wait a minute. We were exploring down the other way. Were we not? Oh, man. You know, every now and again, you just get a video that's absolutely stuffed with interruptions. Oh, right, 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 yeah. That was down there. Huey, you should have told me we've already looked down there. God damn it. It's alright, boy. We need to find the room where we can put the gemstones in. And I've just been watching the 40 series announcement. Uh, the RTX 40 series announcement. And as for someone who's been suffering with a 1060 for a while now, my body is ready. My body is so incredibly ready. Um, so yeah, we got the purifier. Uh, but we've done all that, haven't we? We just need to find the room. Where was the room? Was it through here? It was through a long corridor, wasn't it? Was it this one? Yes! Right. So. Chuck you in there. That's not balanced. But I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. Right. Take it, that's done now. I may not be able to use this anymore, but who knows? Take the... Uh, yes? See, because it says something about mixing it with red, doesn't it? I'm curious. I'm going to drop a save here, but I'm going to save it somewhere else because I wonder if there's like an optional extra thing that we can do. Uh, let's put it there. Right, what's through here? Ooh. Oh, this is spoopy. This is very spoopy. Okay. Leads outside into the garden somewhere. With more of these failed experiments. Of such. Do we have a map for this area? Ah, uh, no. Why would we? Alright. So. 
see, it said something about mixing it with blood. Uh, Alright, well, we've got to save anyway. Huh? What's this? Hey, we got the forest map. Excellent. Uh. Oh. Huh. Uh. Right. Okay. I mean, it's not really much of a map, is it? Well, okay. Huey. Ooh. Shit. Um. I hope Huey's gone somewhere good. Maybe to help Leon would be my assumption. Alright, wow, look at all these pots. Any of these pots gonna have anything in? Yeah, I guess that's better than nothing. Now, what is this noise? Alright, oh, there is something there. Another medallion. Well, sure, I guess. Right, what have you got? For Ooh, God. It's another clock. Oh! Uh, sure, I guess. Um, let's drop one there. Chaos Forest. I kind of wish I hadn't skipped all that flavor text. Right, so Huey's gone somewhere. Alright. And this area is very blurry. I don't know whether that's just the visuals of the game or uh, emulation issues. There's definitely some emulation issues here. But, you know. That's what we get for using emulation. I think what I'm going to do off camera, I'm going to go back and see if I can refine this gem some more. Uh, and I shall report back with my findings. Okay. I guess we're going to just keep following this path around and see where it takes us. Although, being a chaos forest, I'm sure nothing good will come of any of this. Okay, <laughs> that just loops us right round. Hey, there's a rabbit. Oh. Thumper was here, I guess. Hopefully we're not going to be running into Bambi anytime soon. I don't know if we're going the right way. I guess we will find out. Oh. Like a little cave thing over here. Yes? Question mark? That looks like a dead end. Ooh. Why are you doing this? What did I do? You inherited your father's Azoth. That is what you did. What Azoth? I don't even know what that is! That Azoth belongs to us, Fiona. Don't you see? You are our child. Stop! I am not your child. I know exactly who my parents are. Fiona, we are, or rather I am. Knowledge. I hold invaluable information from the dawn of time. I am a great alchemist. 
I will not die. I am Oriola's belly, and I... Look at me, Fiona. Look. What? Just like your father, Ugo. Ugo? We are clones. <laughs> we are clones. Ugo <laughs> is no more. I am the original. <laughs> With that, Azoth, I will finally be complete. You are about to give birth to me all over again. So is she like pregnant now with his kid? Right, um, well, we're actually out of time. Uh, so, Ricardo and her dad were a clone of the same person, although Ricardo is the original. And he killed our dad, who was a cheap knockoff clone of Ricardo. Um,. And he's a mortal, question mark? Uh, but he needs to be reborn through Fiona using her Azoth, which I guess is in her lady parts, because, well, you know, why not, I guess. Um, <laughs> I mean, okay, sure, why not, I suppose. <laughs> it's not the most ridiculous storyline we've ever seen in a game. <laughs> Resident Evil 6. <laughs> So there is that. Um, this game, oh, it's weird. That cutscene though was kind of really well animated. Um, it was very savage, actually. And uh, Ricardo there looks really freaking creepy. Looked like a proper like, uh, like rapist or something. I don't know, man. That was just. Yeah, that was very dark. Um, but here we are, I guess. And he wants... To, I like the way... Okay, so everybody is saying that this is Fiona's castle. Uh, or at least he's saying that. And this is her home and she owns it. Blah, blah, blah. She's the master of it. But all of her subordinates want to use her. So if she is the big boss and in charge... She's not really getting a lot of respect around here, is she? Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to leave this one here, guys. This is... This game's getting interesting. So we've dealt with the crazy maid, who had no respect for us, because 
we have real supercharged lady parts and she doesn't and amongst other things we had creepy um diabetes who wanted to use us as a toy and thought we was a oversized doll which was interesting but he settled down after a while mm. talk about the staff rebelling against you curious curious huh anyway guys i'm gonna leave it here um Looking forward to seeing where this goes next. Because <laughs> hell if I know. So I guess we're going to have to kill Ricardo. And take vengeance for our dad. I guess. And our mum, I suppose, as well. Our mum was literally killed outright. Is she a clone too? Is, does she have anything to do with this? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out sooner. Hopefully rather than later. Hmm. Anyway, guys. Till next time.